Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, that's right, we're going over the top 10 Warframes for the past years. Now these numbers will be updated in due time, so eventually expect a new video, but for now, these are the top 10 Warframes for the past years. They may shock you, they may surprise you, or you may exactly expect what is on that, but We'll find out. This will include primes and non-primes, so keep that in mind, okay? And as always, if you end up liking the video, like, sub, check me out on Twitch and or YouTube. I would appreciate that. You could always use Epic Games Store Creator Code Pubster if you use Warframe there as well. Thank you. That's right, everybody. The top 10, number 10, is Necros Prime. I was actually a little shocked by this myself. Necros is kind of a whatever Warframe, all things considered, but he has his ability Desecrate. Forces fallen enemies around you to drop additional loot. You can use Despoil and Augment mods like that and become OP OP. So that is of course his main attraction, okay? And it's the Prime version. So enough people have farmed up Necros Prime and they use him enough to make him the top 10 numbered frame. Of course, people don't like all of his abilities. I don't very much use him, but he is without a doubt best top 10 or in top 10, I should say, because of Desecrate. His other ones, Terrify, okay, Soul Punch, whatever, Shadows of the Dead, A, oh, could be worse, could be better, not terrible, right? Look at that, Terrify. Uh, we can throw up some enemies if we want to take a look at how his abilities work. Just, uh, oh yeah, I already had 20 up there. 20 Corrupted Bombards. Just have to simulate them, right? Look at that, Soul Punch. Oh, look at that, they jump around. I actually have to kill enemies, I believe, in order for my ability to go off. So let's just quickly do that. Souls of the Dead. There we go, baby. And we spawn a nice dude right there. So he's pretty interesting, but without a doubt, people want to despoil all of the corpses and get more loot, so. He's kind of a one-trick boring frame in that regard, but if you like his abilities, go for it. Number nine top 10 Warframe is Rhino Prime. This should also be a fairly obvious Warframe. He is a very good early, mid game and late game if you feel like using him. Iron Skin makes him just tanky boy. Roar can't go wrong, just flat damage increase. Rhino Charge, not as good. Rhino Stomp, not as good, but it has CC, so not as bad. Whereas his first one is just like lower tier CC, so judge it what you will. He's always known to be the god amongst early mid game because of the tankiness and the buffing, which makes it so that even without good mods early on, you can just destroy everything and do a ton more damage, right? You can use your Latum, pop it, and then kill everything so much easier. Gotta love him. The damage increase you can get on his three is really high. You can get up to pretty easily, depending on what mods you have, maybe 150 to 200%, but with a basic build, hey, maybe 100% increased damage, or maybe none at all. Maybe you want more range. It always depends, but he is great. His augment mods, I mean, I don't use a lot of them because their ironclad charge increases armor rating. It's good because it builds off of your iron skin as well. So it's good to use, but you don't have to use it. Same with other stuff like iron shrapnel. I don't really want to be talking about too many Warframe augment mods here. They're good, just nothing you really need, right? So it's always up to you, but that tends to be the case with most Warframes. Next Warframe, the top eight Warframe is Base Volt. I obviously don't have base Volt, so we'll we'll show it off with Volt Prime, but base Volt is number eight for top 10 Warframes because you get him early on to the game. He's very good, very strong, very useful. Fast boy, shield, damage increase, overall nice. Okay, so that what's... That's what makes Volt top eight. I have this type of build on my Volt Prime, but same general stuff without augment mods, he's amazing. Shield, increased damage, right? Speed, increased damage, reload, multiplier, 10 out of 10. Shock is some CC, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Some extra damage, CC, not too shabby. And his fourth is also an electric AoE, but I have Eclipse thrown on him for even more damage. Mwah. 
10 out of 10, not too mad. The general usage for Volt is a lot of things, Eidolons, carrying. His augments are good as well if you want to use those. Or you could just blast him up and do an increased amount of damage and shoot a lot faster. So, uh, you know what? Not mad, not mad. So that's what puts Volt in number eight. So let's take a look at number seven. In top seven is your boy Excalibur Umbra. Now, if you're earlier game, you have no idea what's going on here, and that's okay. If you're mid late game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Poster boy, Umbra, he's a great frame. People love his abilities, right? You got Slash Dash, you got Radial Howl, Javelin, right? CC, AoE, not too shabby. And then you have Electro Blade. Well, really, Energy Blade, but I want to call it Electro. It depends on your color, and that will make it whatever element uh, on the blade, okay? It's a great, weird way to do it. So I have a red blade, therefore, it's a fire blade, everybody. There's great augment mods for Excalibur, Excalibur Umbra as well. So that is what puts Excal Umbra in top seven. Da 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 da. Here's a very good build of slash dashing, right? Howling. Oh, look at that. You can just chain CC slash dash. You can radial javelin for CC, howl to scare them, pop your fourth, and just do all the sweet, sweet damage, right? Get that that status effect on everyone. You're not gonna go wrong, okay? It's without a doubt what puts him as top seven. Poster boy Umbra, okay? Look at that. Mwah, beautiful. You cannot go wrong with your boy. Excalibur Umbra, so top seven. In number six, believe it or not, is Saren Prime. So I would have thought she'd fallen out of popularity by this year, you know, later on, 2021, 2022, but no, she is actually still very widely used and very popular. And it does make sense. Her abilities are made to kill enemies in every sense of the imagination, right? It It's strong, it's good, 10 out of 10, she is a toxic spore mom, right? She throws spores on, do status, what is that? Oh, it's corrosive. Molt, heals, throws on some toxin, beautiful, gives a little buff. Toxic Lash, guess what, buddy? You just do toxic damage with melee now. Just a straight up increase of damage. Miasma, that's right, viral AoE. And it works in tandem to spread to everyone and possibly keep all of your abilities up at all times. You get a ton of damage multiplier, so she is made to kill everything. She nukes the entire map, infects everyone, and you know what? I think that's beautiful. So that's why Saren is in number six for top six. Saren Prime, I should say. We throw on more Corrupted Bombards, kill and clear the enemies. We need full 20 so we can just see how she works. Throw on that, throw that on, right? Quickly shoot those out there, infect everyone, throw that on. That's the idea behind her. And then your damage just builds, right? You just keep building your damage. I'll oh, throw another stack on there. And then everyone just starts dying. And the top, uh, sorry, bottom right, that number builds up. Your damage builds up and you nuke and kill the map constantly. So that is why Saren Prime is without a doubt number six in top six. Moi, love it. That's right, baby. Top five is your boy Volt Prime. Volt Base is top eight because he's so good and you get him early on. Volt Prime is top five because he's better than Base Volt. And once you get Base Volt, you nuke him away, get rid of him and swap over to Volt Prime. That's what makes Warframe top 10 bliss such a hilarious, great meme to me, because it tends to be the non-prime frame and then the prime version. So, guess what? He's still OP. He still has shields, damage, electricity, goes fast. Look at that. God, he's still great. And that is why Volt Prime is top five. He is Electro Boy Go Burr. He's just great. You should always use him, right? Love him. Moi, Eidolon Hunters just wet dream. So this next one may or may not surprise you. That's right, everyone. It is Mesa Prime herself. So why do you think Mesa is top four most used Warframe? Mesa Prime specifically. Well, it's because she's an aimbot, right? Look at that. Shooting gallery gives allies damage. Huh? Not bad. 
jams the guns of the enemies, ballistic battery, just stores damage caused by guns, and then next gunshot goes burr. Shatter shield, hey, guess what? You have a reflective base, and then with her fourth ability, it's just aimbot. So what does Mesa do? She plants herself down, throws up her abilities and defenses, and then just aimbots the entire map. She is very popular and loved, Mesa Prime, because of her AFK casual type of gameplay and murder everyone, so... Oh, Mesa Prime, so great. I can't wait to see if she's more or less used going forward in the years, but yeah, people have used and loved Mesa Prime a ton. Augment mods just make her better, stronger, faster, so you definitely cannot go wrong there. Staggering Shield, good. Muzzle Flash, also good. Ballistic Bullseye, also good if you feel like using it or, you know, you want to have a specific ballistic battery build, but most probably wouldn't. It's up to you, right? She is really good, okay? You just pop your two, three, four, one, boom, pop them all. Well, fourth last, but you know the idea, right? So let's uh, let's get a little, little introduction to Mesa Prime. I have her Peacemakers built poorly, and that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we'll still kill everything. Right? We'll just see how this works. Right? Go Badui, Badui, Badui. Maybe I should do it closer here. No, okay, we don't need to. And then, the way it works is you just have this big AoE. The more you shoot, the more it condenses in, but also the faster you shoot. Well, it looks like even without that, I can kill everyone. So, that's Mesa Prime. She goes in, she goes burr, she kills everything. It's a pretty simple concept overall, and that's what put Mesa Prime as top four. So, now, we have the top three. The top three, this may shock you, may surprise you, may make you poop your pants, but we'll find out, so like, sub, and check out the socials. Number three, everyone, is ya girl, Wisp. Everyone is excited for Wisp Prime. So it shouldn't be a huge shock that Wisp herself is number three, okay? Her abilities, godly. You don't need any sort of uh, augment mod. You don't need anything. She's just a god. Her first ability, heals, CC, and DPS increase. Her second ability, invulnerability. Oh my god. And you can just go around? Great. Third ability, more damage. Fourth ability could be better. I believe her second one also confuses, distracts. Yeah, okay. It's a good kit overall. She is ridiculous. There's no shock there. So if we spawn some enemies, right? Simulate those. Grab all this. She will kill everything. She'll never die. You got Reservoir for health. Attack speed. CC, right? You throw on your third ability. Throw your little Wispo there. Throw on Soul Gate. This one is just radiation and damage. Not terrible, but not great. And then murder it all. You see how fast she just goes through the ammo because of the speed increase? Look at that. Oh my god. You got the damage increase off your Breach Surge third ability. Yeah, Breach Surge third ability. Wisp Prime, without a doubt. Too good. Well, base Wisp. When Wisp Prime will be out, she will be just too good. So... That puts base Wisp as top three, right? Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, this next one is a sweet meme. That's right, everybody. The second most popular Warframe in the game is base Excalibur. And the top seven was Excalibur Umbra. Yeah, you know exactly why that is. Excalibur is default poster boy best Warframe. He is always pretty much top three because new players almost always pick him because he has a energy sword, okay? So basic Excalibur is second. He is the poster boy of Warframe. He will always be a top Warframe, okay? Look at poster boy by default. Right? Look at that spine. He looks pretty cool, but then you go on to fashion framing and he looks like a goddamn edgelord, edgelord god, right? With his electro, uh, whatever status you have blade. This is why Poster Boy will always be top three. Base Excal, second place, right? Post Poster Boy just lives in the top three. He lives there, lives in your head rent free, okay? So, Base Excalibur, he's number two. True insanity. 
true insanity. The number one most used, most popular Warframe. I don't know if you believe it or not. It's your boy Wukong Prime. So the margins for these are so insanely high that it's just no contest. It's pretty much Wukong Prime is the most popular for AFK easy gameplay. And then second is Excalibur because people pick him first in the game and are forced to play him, right? Like the stats and facts of that are so hilariously funny to me. Wukong's just a god, literally, and has really amazing abilities. Your passive is you can die three times and invoke another an ability, right? If you care what those are, you, yeah. Your first is just a twin that just AI damage, right? You can mark enemies and he does insane boosted damage. Cloudwalk, heal, and distance, right? It's a speed, move, and heal. You have defy, which is push back, invincibility, and give back armor, right? It's just so many stupid things. And then you have his fourth ability, which is an augmented staff. Not the best, but not bad. The main reason people without a doubt use him though is because he's so AFK lazy friendly because you just have a guy, you got a guy right here that'll just go kill everything for you, right? You just like, hey dude, kill everything. I have the AI turned off, so I don't know if it's gonna work. There he goes. But if he is working, he'll just walk around, stabbing, cutting everything. You can like mark that enemy and he will specifically attack now that enemy with a DPS damage boost, right? Now he'll go out of his way and slowly kill everyone. It's possible he doesn't have the best mods on his sword, but he is still, without a doubt, killing everything, and I'm just lazily not paying attention. You could stat stick his Primal Fury melee, make that really strong, or just shoot him a lot. If I go melee, he'll start using his primary and killing everything. Look at him, he's just sitting there, crouching. And he's also kind of stupid, as you can see. Maybe not the smartest of AIs, but that's Warframe AI. And then you swap back and he'll start shooting again. Are you out of ammo? No, he's good. So that is without a doubt why Wukong Prime is number one Warframe in the game without any contest. It's just his kit's good, he's strong, and he's very lazy, so... Yeah, once they added in an AI aimbot that follows whatever your kit is, game over, man. They forced him to be the top number one Warframe, so, hey. That is the top 10 Warframes played in the past, uh, or most popular, if you will. Top 10 Warframes for the past couple of years. Again, these lists will be updated once the 2022 stats and numbers fully come out, so we'll have to wait and see, but, yeah, this has been the past years in Warframe of top tens. Let me know what you think, as always. If you wanna be nice, support the channel. You can like, sub, check out the socials, YouTube, Twitch, join the YouTube membership, right? If you ever wanna support the channel, super chat, what have you, there's all those shenanigans. So do appreciate everyone being here. Thank you, thank you. Sub, and I will see you next time. Peace.